write 5 and 1 fourth as an improper fraction. And an improper fraction is just a pure fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator. This right here, it's not a pure fraction. We have a whole number mixed with a fraction, so we call this a mixed number. So let's think about what 5 and 1 fourth represents, and let me rewrite it. So if we're talking about 5 and 1 fourth. 5 and 1 fourth. And you can literally think of this as 5 and 1 fourth, or 5 plus 1 fourth. That's what 5 and 1 fourth represents. So let's think about 5. 5 is 5 holes. Or if you're thinking of pi, we could draw literally 5 pies. We could draw 5 pies. And let me just cut up the pies from the get go into 4 pieces, since we're dealing with fourths. So let me just cut up the pies right over here. So that's 1 pi right over there. Let me copy and paste this. Copy and paste. So I have two pies, and then I have three pies, and then I have four pies, and then I have five pies. So this is what the five represents. Five literally represents, so let me circle all of this together. That is the five part right there. That is what five literally represents. It represents five whole pies. Five whole pies. Now, I have cut up the pies into four pieces. So you can imagine each piece represents a fourth. Now, how many pieces do I have in these five pies? Well, I have four pieces per pie. I have four pieces per pie. Four pieces per pie. Four pieces, well, let me just write it here. Four pieces per pi times times five pies is equal to 20, 20 pieces. Or another way to think of it, since each piece is a fourth, this is also equal to 20 times 1 fourth. Or you could just write this as being equal to 20 fourths. So we have. 5 whole pies is equal to 20, 20 fourths. Let me write it like that. 20 fourths. Or we could write it as, or we could write it as 20 over 4. I've kind of done the same thing twice. So that's what the 5 pies represent. 20 fourths or 20 pieces, where each piece is 1 fourth. Now the 1 fourth right here represents literally 1 more fourth of a pie, or 1 more piece of a pie. So let me draw another pie here. So let me draw another pie here. So that is another pie. Cut it into 4 pieces. But this 1 fourth only represents one, one of these pieces, right? This is one of the four pieces. The four, the denominator tells us how many pieces. The one tells us how many of those pieces we're dealing with. So it's just this one piece over here. That right there is the 1 fourth. Now, if we write 5 and 1 fourth, we just saw that the 5, the 5 right here is 20 fourths. So we could write this. So we could rewrite this. So let me write it like this. 5 and 1 fourth, 5 and 1 fourth can be rewritten as this is the same thing as 5 plus 1 fourth, 5 plus 1 fourth, which is the same thing as we just saw that 5 whole pies is the same thing as 20 fourths, 20 fourths. And to see that these are the same thing, you literally just divide 4 into 20. You get 5, and nothing is left over. So 5 is the same thing as 20 fourths. And then this plus 1 fourth is the same thing as plus 1 fourth. So if I have 20 fourths, and I add 1 more fourth to it, how many fourths do I have? Well, I have 21. I have 21 fourths. Or another way of thinking about it, this 5 is, so this right here is that right there is 20 pieces, 20 pieces of pi. And you can even count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. But a quicker way is to say, well, we have five pies. Each of them have four pieces. 5 times 4 is 20. This 1 fourth right here represents one piece plus one piece. So total, we're going to have 21, 21 pieces. 
So we have 21 pieces where each piece is 1 fourth. So we could say we have 21 times 1 fourth or 21 fourths pieces of pi. However you want to think of it, but we've, we've solved the problem. We're at an improper fraction. We've written 5 and 1 fourth as an improper fraction. Now, I've gone through great pains to give you the intuition of what 5 and 1 fourth means, but there is a fairly straightforward process for getting straight to the improper fraction. If you have, if you have, let me color code it. So if you have 5 and 1 over 5 and 1 over 4, to convert it into an improper fraction, you literally, you're going to keep the same denominator. So you're going to have the over 4 there. But your numerator is going to be your your, your, your numerator of the fraction part before, so it's going to be 1 plus your whole number times your denominator. So 1 plus, or actually, let me do it the way I tend to think of it. What I do is I take 4 times 5, so let me write that down. 4, and I want to color code it. 4 times 5, 4 times 5, and then to that I add, to that I add this numerator. So I literally do 4 times 5 plus 1, and which is, so this is equal to 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21, and then that's over 4. So it's 21 fourths. And although this is kind of a fast way to do it, we're, we're literally doing the exact same thing that we did here in a kind of a slower way. We're saying, OK, 5 wholes is the same thing as 20 fourths. So you take 5, and I figure that out, times 5 times 4. And then I have one more fourth there. So 4 times 5 plus 1 gives 21. 